On the heels of a fatal carjacking in the parking lot of this Burger King here in Waterford, we're learning more about what could have prompted the crime and ties to a larger community problem. After nearly an entire day on the run, police caught up to and arrested 38 year old Ruth Posdell late last night. Earlier that morning, they say she ran over and killed 76 year old Clifford Van Haywald, an innocent man just stopping to eat breakfast. His granddaughter overcome with grief last night. He was a very nice, kind hearted old man that he leaves behind a great grandson who's three and a half years old. He leaves behind three grandchildren, four kids, a brother. Sources tell us Posdell struggled with heroin addiction. She even checked herself out of rehab shortly before stealing the elderly man's red Chevy pickup. A great majority of the heroin has made its way to our community over some time now. Jeannie Richards is president of Brian's Hope, a group of concerned citizens coming together. She started the organization with thousands of members. After losing her own son at just 26 years old to heroin, she says often addiction comes after initial dependency on prescription pills, and it can happen to anyone. It was a friend that put the needle in my son's arm the first time. He couldn't even do it. Through town hall meetings, coalitions, partnerships, and advocacy for better legislation, Jeannie is hoping to combat heroin and other drug addictions. She sees yesterday's tragic death as a symptom of a larger problem plaguing communities like Waterford. There's things that have to change in our society, and it's going to take every sector parents, legislators, schools, community leaders, the media. Family members tell me they still have not received that truck back. In fact, they've been told the truck may have been sold. If you have any information about it, please contact Waterford Police. Also, a GoFundMe page is being created to help with funeral expenses. That information will be available on our website, WXYZ.com. From Waterford, Simon Shea the Now Detroit. All right, thanks.